Hi, I'm Ian Taylor from Ian Taylor's Wrecking and welcome to Aconcagua. So Aconcagua is in Argentina. It's just under 23,000 feet, high in the Andes Mountains. It's the highest mountain in the world outside of the Himalayas. It's an amazing experience climbing one of the seven summits. I've been dreaming of going to Aconcagua for over a decade. So the highlight was really being in the Vacas Valley, surrounded by massive peaks and mountains. We have a full itinerary, 21 days. We pick you up at the airport, bring you to a nice hotel in Mendoza. There was no ambiguity of who was picking you up. And the hotel was already prearranged. We include everything throughout the whole journey, all the way back through the mountain and back to the airport. The whole logistics process, they just got the whole thing completely nailed down. When we're hiking in, we're using the best facilities, the best setup. We happen to trek 25 miles into base camp and there's a hot shower and there's a big dome tent where we all eat together. There's bathroom facilities that we joke were just like I was going at home. It has Wi-Fi if you are missing your family or loved ones. The food has been unbelievable. Guys cooking steaks for you just about every night. Wine if you want it, if that's your thing. The service, it, it's over the top. I'm a big fan of the Vacas Valley route. We come over the other side of the mountain, up to Camp 3, Camp Cholera, and then we come down this normal route of the mountain. There's stunning scenery all around, beautiful glaciers. When you're in these environments and you see these mountains, and you, you're in places where no one else could be unless they, they're doing what you're doing. But don't come without training. Put in the work and then you hopefully will get the chance to receive all the greatness. If you want to come to Aconcagua, you should at least have been to high altitude, five, 6,000 meters in the Himalayas, Kilimanjaro. This is a big mountain expedition. We have to do load carries of up to 40 pounds up and down the mountain. Summit night in particular was challenging. I mean, we started out, it was cold. Anticipated some icing conditions and they, they came out. The wind chill at the lower part of the mountain was, was pretty epic without a doubt. When we approached the Canaletta, it, it was almost a wall of snow and ice. It was uh, kind of shocking to us. We wondered how the heck are we going to get up that. Definitely crampons and ice axes. Good news is that once we got to the summit, the winds just kind of calmed down, and it was just a, a really nice experience. I, I don't want to say disbelief, but, but just the immense satisfaction that accomplishing the goal, it, it's a physical battle and it's a mental battle all the way up. Hard to describe right now the emotions. So if you want to come to Aconcagua, you got to pick the best team best service, best setup on the mountain. We have more days, more climatization, more support. It's these little extra things that come with going with Ian Taylor's company that make it really, really rich for me. Doing hard things, getting out of your comfort zone, expanding the mind and body, we don't realize how powerful that is to become your best version of you. If you want to get in touch, get on our website, it's iantaylortrekking.com or email us info at iantaylortrekking.com and we'd love to see you on one of our trips here on Aconcagua.